Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. How to display X rows per page in SSRS report? So let's go ahead and take a look. Here I have a report and I have a lot of records on page 1 and page 2. Now think about a scenario where users want to see only 5 or 10 records, maybe 20 records on each of the page. How we can do that? Let's go to design. We will be going to details. Right click, add a group and parent group. Here we will be writing expressions. And we will be using ceiling function with the row number function and the scope is going to be nothing so that's data set level and then we will divide with 10 so I would like to display 10 records per page I have a very detailed video on how to use ceiling row number and uh, how to divide uh, these uh, row, uh, number of records per page and I would recommend watching that video uh, in SSRS uh, video tutorial uh, playlist. Uh, I also have uh, a video how even uh, you can pass this uh, 10 uh, from the parameter. So I recommend watching that video as well. So I don't want to waste the time here but uh, uh, if you want to learn the detail how exactly these uh, things work you can watch those videos. Uh, hit OK. Now we are done here and uh, let's uh, preview the report. Once we preview the report we will see some error. So there is some uh, uh, error row number cannot be used in sort expression. So in this group we have to remove the sorting. Come to the group, right click group properties and here we have sorting. I don't need sorting here so I'm going to delete that, hit OK. And next we can preview our report. You can see that by using ceiling and row number we are able to divide them in groups and 10 records are divided into one group and then we have second number that's another 10 records are divided into that. Now we are pretty good. We have uh, the groups of 10 records and here is our group number 1 and 2 and 3. Now we can go back to design and do something more about it. One, we can go back here, go to group properties and add a page break. So once we click that one, then it's gonna put records on each of the pages. So you see that per group are going to be next page. So you see that on each page we are having those records. Now, the only thing what we see here, this group is stuck there. We don't really need that. We can remove that if we would like. So we can come back here and uh, let's say if I want to go ahead and delete this one and I said delete column now delete column and associated groups uh, that that we don't want to do it if we do that expression will be gone and everything will be gone we just want to remove the column but expression and everything will be stay as it is uh, so hit ok and uh, that's it now you have 10 records uh, per page. You can change the expression to under uh, 25 or whatever. That's why I, I said that we can even give an option to create a uh, parameter and then use that parameter value in the expression to handle the number of uh, uh, records or rows per page. So thanks very much for watching this video and good luck with your interview. I will see you guys in next video.